about the four kinds of teeth that you have in your mouth, all right, that all of you have. And then you're going to make your own tooth model. And then next week when you come back, you're going to learn how to brush your teeth and how to take care of your teeth. First, you'll be getting some pink Play-Doh. Yeah. What does this pink Play-Doh represent? Your gums, right? You're going to take your Play-Doh and roll it out. Put it on your desk, use two hands and roll it out. And then you're going to put it on your paper so that it looks like a rainbow, like this. Now while you're doing that, I'm going to be passing out white like Play-Doh. What do you think the white Play-Doh is going to be for? Kellen? Your teeth. Very good. That's going to be upside down, all right? So you're going to have to make 16 teeth to fit onto your gums. Roll it out so it's as thick as your pencil. This picture here, these are called your incisors. How many of those do you have? Four. Four. Now take your mirror. What do they look like? What do they feel like? But it's pretty much, it's like long and flat, right? So what you're going to do, I'm going to take a big club of Play-Doh. You're only going to make your Play-Doh the size of a pea. So you're going to roll it into a ball in your hands. You're going to just pinch it so it's kind of pointy on top. Start at the middle of your arch of your gums up here, and you're going to put in four of them. All right, and then you're gonna label them. And then you're going to plop that down on your gums. And then you're going to label. And then you're going to use the tip of your pencil. All right, but I'm going to use my flat pencil. And you're just going to kind of put a groove into it. So you're going to make four of these. Sit down. Here we go, brush your hands. 
stays there, it turns into tartar, which is what the dentist has to scrape off when you go to the dentist. Brush Black. two times a day after your teeth. Brush two times a day. Two minutes each time? Two minutes each time. We put a little worm of toothpaste on there. Now you're going to hold your toothbrush with these three fingers. If you hold the toothbrush like this, excuse me, you tend to put too much pressure on your teeth, and you can damage the gums. If this right here were my tooth, all right, I don't want to brush on the side, because that can damage the gums. So I want to put my toothbrush on the top edge like this, and brush back and forth, so that some of the bristles go this way, and some of the bristles go across the top. And you're going to gently brush the teeth that you made last week. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your floss, you're going to go down in between two teeth. You're going to bend the floss around it, and then you're going to pull it up like this. Then you're going to go back down in the second slot, in the same slot, and go up around the other two. <laughs> and you do that all the way around your mouth. Cheers. 